हेलो माय यूट्यूब फैमिली टुडे आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग चैप्टर थ्री फूड एंड डाइजेशन ऑफ क्लास फोर ओलम्पिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आई एम श्रीयांश मिश्रा द सन ऑफ बिगो प्रसाद मिश्रा प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब शेयर एंड कॉमेंट फॉर शोइंग सपोर्ट एंड फॉर द इम्प्रूवमेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज Select the correct option that correctly fills in the blanks. Plant-eating animals have well developed dash and dash. Flesh-eating animals have well developed dash. So, plant-eating animals actually have well developed incisors and molars to tear food easily. And flesh-eating animals have well developed canines to tear their flesh, tear their flesh and Eat it. So the correct option is option C. Incisors, comma molars, comma canine. So let's move on to the second question. Which of the following provides the same nutrient as X? So X is potato and it provides us carbohydrates. So we get the same nutrient from X provides us nutrients. Bread, bread provides us carbohydrates. Ghee provides us fats. And kidney beans, kidney beans provide us uh, nutrients. So the correct option will be option B. Bread as it provides the same nutrient as potato, carbohydrates. So let's move on to the third question. Dehydration is a method of preserving food by not adding sugar, not it drying, adding sugar, drying, steaming, boiling are the options. The correct option is option B, drying. As we don't add sugar and we don't steam and don't boil while dehydration. So dash is the method to cook idlis. A steaming, B frying, C boiling, D grilling. The correct option is option A steaming. The given figure shows the structure of tooth. Select the correct option regarding labeled parts P, Q, R, and R. R is the enamel and it's the hardest. substance of our body okay p is pulp p is a pulp here it's this is p pulp here is a pulp and q is the root and r is the enamel enamel is the hardest substance in our body Q is a bone like material that supports our yeah both are true P has nerves and blood vessels this is also true so correct option is option D all of these are true as they have told us to select the correct option boiling a liquid and quickly cooling it down is a popular method it is called when we boil liquid we don't do canning and pickling so these both are not the answer so the and freezing is also not the answer because it gets pasteurized so the correct option is option c pasteurization dash is the organ where the absorption of water here here dash is the organ where absorption of water from undigested food occurs <coughs> kidney a b liver c small intestine d large intestine the correct option is option d large intestine a small intestine gives uh, gives the undigested food to the large intestine so let's move on to the eighth question which of the following is caused by virus Malaria is not caused by virus, so this will not be in the list. 
Robert Collins is, is not caused by virus. Dengue is caused by virus. Measles also is caused by virus. So the correct option is option three. I I I and I B only. Refer to the human digestive si system. Wh what will outcome if the part small intestine is removed from the human digestive system? Okay, complete absorption of nutrients will not occur. Yeah, this is correct. Complete digestion of food will not occur. This is correct. Saliva will not be secreted. No, this is incorrect. So, correct option will be option option D, both A and B. Hmm. Refer to the given figures showing different methods of cooking. Identify these methods of cooking. Okay. Hmm. You have to identify these methods of cooking. Hmm. And we have to select the so see here here this is frying this is baking and this is steaming so uh, the correct answer is option B frying B P Q baking R steaming I have a crown but I am not a king. I have a leg but I am not an animal. I have a root but I am not a plant. What does I represent in the rural? Bacterium, tooth, nail, tongue. Tooth has crown, leg and root. Blood. But these don't have. So the correct option is option B. Tooth. Ravi says mouth is not a part of our digestive system as nothing is digested here. His statement is false because food passes through our mouth. Saliva digests protein in food. Saliva helps to digest food partially. Teeth help in swallowing food. A correct answer is option C. Saliva helps to digest food partially. The given figure shows human digestive system labeled WXY and Z in which label parts the following occur. In which the label parts the, the label parts the following occur. So acid and enzymes break the food absorption of digestive food into the blood. So here, acid and enzymes break the food in X, stomach. Acid and enzymes break the food in stomach. Absorption of digested food into the blood is in the small intestine. So the correct option will be X and Z. The correct option is option B, X and Z. First view a balanced diet pyramid. I have not written pyramid. Harish, Harsh drew a balanced diet pyramid but made, made some mistakes. Select the correct option regarding it. Food items in block 1 should be replaced with food items in block 4. No. Of different, these are of different category. Food items in block 2 and block 3 should be interchanged. No. Block 2 should be interchanged with block 1. Food items in block 1 and block 2 should be interchanged. Yes, this is the correct answer. D. Food items in block 3 should be interchanged with food items in block 4. No. The correct option is option C. Food items in block 1 and block 2 should be interchanged 
with food items in block 3. <coughs> match column 1 and column 2 <coughs> and select the correct option. Book. Vitam, if we eat. If we eat foods that are rich in vitamin A, we won't suffer night blindness. So P is K. Okay. If we eat vitamin B, we will not suffer very very. So Q is L. If we eat vitamin C, we will not suffer from scurvy. So, C, R is I. Vitamin D. If we eat vitamin D, we will not have anemia. So, correct option is option B. P is K, Q is L, R is J, S is N. The given graphs show the amount of four different components of food. Q, R and S. Before and after digestion. Which of these represents a book? So, S before digestion. After digestion. So, S represents a wish. So, uh, S is in option D. So, the correct option is option D. S. The given statements which summarizes the process of digestion are, are these arrange the process of di tell the processes of digestion we have to arrange them in sequence. First what happen are mix are are mixing with saliva first we have are then we have Q, churning of food, and then we have S, because after that complete day, because after that, after that it's B, S and T. So the correct option is option option C R Q P S T. Pause. Which of the following in the Venn diagram represents for small intestine? So let's see. One, two, three, or four. So small intestine is the organ for di digesting food and organ for absorbing digestive food so it's three so the correct option is option c three book 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 Repre refer to the conversation among three friends and then all of our teeth have same basic structure of root neck and crown and have enamel on the outer surface he is correct. If small intestine is removed from the body, digestion of food will take place. But absorption of water from the undigested food will not occur. No, he is incorrect. Digestion will also not take place if small intestine is removed. The teeth is at the back the, at the at back of the jaws are premolars and molars. They both are found in milk teeth as well as in permanent teeth set. No, they are found in permanent teeth set, not milk teeth set. So, which of the friends made an incorrect statement? These both, Rajesh and Meetu. So, correct option is option C, Rajesh and Meetu. Refer to the given graph showing undigested food during the process of digestion in the gut. And select the correct option. Okay. Oh, X is the small intestine. No, X is not the small intestine. And Y is also not the large intestine. 
Z is S. Here I have marked it wrong. It's the wrong answer. Z is not the esophagus. W is the large intestine. The yes, W is the large intestine. So the correct option is option D. W is the large intestine. So bye bye. Hope you like this video.